Chatelet, homies. I'm here to talk to you today about Ecomi and Cryptokins. Cryptkins? I don't know. But I have one because they accidentally sent it to my house because the guy who previously lived here was interested in some, some pretty dweeb stuff. Anyways, I want to talk to you about the notion that they're giving us lousy drops because they're holding everything back until they can get a stampede in physical retailers. Now, how are they going to get a stampede in physical retailers? Boise Crypto has a good video about that. He calls it Free Tail. The rumors are that they're going to be putting a NFT on a little card in McDonald's Happy Meals. If you know anything about Alcon's marketing, you know, Cabbage Patch Kids, people were wilding out, trampling each other like it was Black Friday. So I think that they're going to need to recreate something like that and drive all that energy and all that excitement. Take the excitement pill, man. Do not, it's not, it's a non-word, but I'm using it at the moment because that's what these people are good at generating. You know, they, the, they're good at turning the masses into borgs of consumers, you know, that are going to trample each other for these cards at Target. You know, we're going to get hardware wallets at Target. And you know, the reason I'm saying that is because David Yu interacted with my post on his Instagram where it said, it was like the Kanye thing where he's talking about, I'm going to let you finish. But this drop is just to hold over the Omi homies until we can get physical wallets and retailers. I think I said Walmart. And I tagged Walmart and he liked it. So, you know, give your boy a shout out, symbol on Vive. I know what's happening. And I'm investing. I've, I told you in the last video, sell your Omi and you're going to buy the NFTs. I, I've sold about half my stack and a lot of my XLM I've been, just because it was easy. I should have sold some stuff like Cello because it was peaking. And I don't think there's any pump left in. Um, Boise Crypto, he also introduced me to looking into people's, uh, their wallets. If you're interested in finding stuff that's not just being pumped, you know, if you're interested in finding the gems, you know, what people are really, that know what's going on, what they're invested in, what you need to do is you need to look in their wallets and you see that they've got 500 million in Chainlink and a billion dollars in a whole bunch of different coin, like tethers and stuff, then one or two or something else and you don't know what that something else is, that's probably what you... That's what I buy, and then I look up hype afterwards to justify, you know, my ape purchase. And it's worked out decently well for me. I could sit here, afford to sit here on a Monday and make videos about digital toys being dropped from uh, an app that's in the Google Play Store right now. So if you're new to crypto and getting Omi is a pain in the ass for even someone who's not new to crypto. It's not hard to get on the VV app in the Play Store and just buy some shit about the marketplace. Um, if the marketplace is down, which it always seems to be, uh, if you go on eBay and you do local pickup shipping option, the seller is taking 100% of the risk because you don't have to release the funds until after they deliver the asset or the NFT to you. So if, if you're having a hard time scoring some drops and you're seeing deals on eBay, that could be where to get it. Especially, that's where to get it. So what I was getting at is I've liquidated plenty of my OMI to get them bubbles while they're still cheap. So that's what you need to do. And let me know what you think about my take. We're gonna have hardware wallets in Target. Get ready, boys. Homies.